Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimmy, and for those who don't know, I like to talk about graphic design stuff. Today's video is going to be focused on how to build your portfolio without clients. It's not always easy when you get started or get out of school to create a good portfolio. So I'm going to give you six different websites that you can use to help you get your portfolio started. Without any ado, let's get started. So of course, the first one that I'm going to talk about is the obvious choice, which is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is one of those tools that you need to have in your inventory because it's just going to help you with any type of portfolio piece that you would like. You can take into consideration the things that you want. You can adapt it and ask it, ask it to add certain aspects to its brief that it's going to create for you. And overall, it's just a, a general tool that is going to help you get thousands and thousands of ideas so that you can get started. As you can see here right now, I told it that I want it to be more precise with the content. It gave me some general ideas, but that's not the question that I was trying to ask it. So I had to review my question and said that I wanted it to create content for the menu, which is what I needed to get started because sometimes Laura Mipsum is nice, but it's always nice to have like real tangible information so that you can create your design appropriately. That's why ChatGPT is the number one thing that I like to use to create new projects for my portfolio. Next up is sharpen.design. Now, this is another one where it's just a brief generator where you can choose between different categories like branding, marketing and product UX. It's going to give you more uh, simple directions, like it's going to tell you to create something in X amount of time. You can lock in certain aspects that you like and then just keep generating new ideas depending on what you want to create. I, I think having this is a little bit more challenging in my opinion, but it's easy when you just want to produce something and just get out there and create uh, a design without really having to think about the brief. Uh, personally, I've used it once or twice, it, but overall, I just think it's a very, very complete website. My third website is briefs.biz. Now, briefs that biz is a very simple one again, but you will get some briefs out of it. It's a brief generator and that's what it's good for. It's very simple. It's not a hundred percent. Like there's so many briefs in it, but you can get different types of ideas. You got print branding. They're still a work in progress, but it's one of those websites that's nice to have bookmark and come back to if you have like the blank page syndrome. For my fourth brief generator, it's going to be designer size. Now, keep in mind designer size is more reflected on UI design, so website design. If that's what you're looking for, it's really simple. You have three different modes. You can put on a timer, you can stop, pause it. It's a very friendly UI and I enjoy this website. I think it's clean, it's to the point and you don't have to ask yourself what it's there for. So if you want UI stuff, designer size. For my fifth choice, it's fakeclients.com. Fakeclients.com is a little bit more complete, but the reason why it's so far down my list is because there's a pro version of it. I'm like the other ones where they're mostly free. This one comes with pro, which enables certain aspects that would be necessary, but it can still be used for creating projects depending on what you need. It's got categories, they're very precise and you can pretty much look into anything and it'll give you at least an idea. You can complete it with ChatGPT if you want. So that's why this is my number five, but it's still a good thing to have. For my last choice, well, it's goodbrief.io. It's a simple brief generator. You pick what you want, you generate it, and you create a design with it. It even gives you deadlines. So yeah, it's good. And now I want to make a special mention to Briefbox. 
Beefbox is one of those platforms that if you have the budget for it, I would at least try to get a month out of it and go and look at all of the briefs it gives you. I've used it for like a month and I did printing projects and I was actually very, very surprised at how complete the briefs are. This isn't a sponsored at all. I'm just giving you like an idea. It is quite expensive though. So if you don't have the budget, I would suggest going for the other routes, but it is complete. It gives you very, very specific wants, needs, character personas, everything is included. So yeah, if you have the money, try it out for a month and let me know. So that does it for my list. I've only put six slash seven in here because I do have a whole bunch more, but these are the top ones that I like to work with. I think when I feel a little bit less inspired, I try to go for either a really big project or I just make a smaller project. It doesn't really matter, but I like to alternate. If I don't want to write in chat GPD, I try to generate one instead and then I just kind of alternate between the softwares and not the softwares, the websites and create a project that I'm inspired by. I think that's what it needs to be. Just remember that your portfolio needs to be adapted for the type of job that you want. So these are mostly graphic design, logo, brand stuff. But if you are a web designer, UI developer, whatever you want to call yourself, make sure you find the websites that are adapted to your type of project. That being said, thanks for watching. I hope this was educational. Leave a like, subscribe, comment below if you like this, if you would like to see other things, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.